Out of gamut, what's he talking about, I hear you say. Well, I'm gonna show you a quick fix for those odd occasions when you may just need it. Hi everyone, it's not that often, but now and again, maybe once or twice a year, I get a problem with out of gamut, usually on prints. I'm gonna show you a quick fix for this, but there's info below just in the details for if you're not sure what gamut is. So here's a quick way, it's not really a fix, but it certainly does help improve the problem. Now this image in particular is very good as an example as it has um, some good reds and blues which are generally the colours that will get pushed out of gamut in a lot of images. So literally what you need to do is go up to the view menu here in Photoshop and come down to gamut warning and you've got your shortcut there on the right as an option. And if you pop that on you will see straight away how the image comes up and shows you the warnings where you're out of gamut. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna work on these colors individually. So we're looking here at the reds and the blues. There's a small touch of orangey red over here on the left hand side and another small part just up to the top here, but um, they're so minor, I'm not going to worry too much about those. So we're going to go over to a new adjustment layer and go down to the hue and saturation adjustment layers. Once you have the dialog box open, what you want to do is make sure you come off the master setting here and go to the individual colors, which obviously here are red and blue. Once you come off the masters, you will find that these eyedroppers here will become active for you. So we'll go into the reds and now we're gonna click on the add eyedropper. So now that's active, we can actually move into the outer gamut area and we're going to click and drag to produce a range. Do make sure you click and drag, don't just do one click and then leave it at that. We do need a, a range coming up through that uh, outer gamut area. Now once you've done that, we move up to the saturation slider here and start to bring in some negative saturation. And a lot of the time, this will be very, very small increments. So I've got a particularly bad image here. So um, I'll be pushing it back further than maybe normal. But it is really small increments, don't go too mad with it. So let's pull that back and yeah, look, even, even now, just minus six and we've managed to pull that away from the main area there. Now you can make a decision on this area here and um, to be quite honest, it's, it's in the black there for me, so I'm not too worried about that, but let, let's show you anyway how that's going to be. So pulling that back further, that does help remove that, but we do start to lose some major saturation in the main area of the reds that we had before. So it's really making a decision on what you want to do with that side of things. And the other option is you can bring in another adjustment layer and use that as the second part of the reds, if you like, and work accordingly. And that will keep both together and you can work alongside using a, a brush and actually blending those two layers together. So I'm gonna bring those reds back a bit more because like I said, I'm not too worried about those, those reds in the black area there. Let's look at these blues now. So staying on the same adjustment uh, layer and um, we're gonna come down to the blues now. Exactly the same thing again. So we're going down to the add eyedropper here and going to sample over into the outer gamma area, click and drag, pull it through Again, just using the saturation slider, we're gonna pull that back and just see how that pulls back with those blues. And yeah, around about minus 28, and actually those blues are still looking really good, so I'm pretty happy with that. Now you can look at these other smaller areas still if you want to, but they are so tiny and they're not gonna come out too bad at all actually in the print, so um, I'm more than happy to leave those. Um, that patch down the bottom there, like I said earlier, if you want to work further on that and still maintain the brightness of the red above it, just look at bringing in another adjustment layer and doing the same thing on that. And you can fill that adjustment layer with black and then just with a white brush you can paint that in afterwards. If you do go with it as is, something like this, then maybe in the final print do just double check this area here though, just to be sure. 
So looking at all the other colours, you can see they've not been touched at all. They're looking fabulous and they've, they were all in gamma anyway. But, um, you know, always check because if there's some blues or reds in some other colours, occasionally the saturation may change on those as well. So we've got better graduation now in these reds and blues, so that's looking really good. And really it's a case of, you know, whether you want to print as is or flatten it and then go ahead and print or just save. But um, that helps you out with gamut, hopefully.